conviction is an unwavering belief. It doesn't shake away. It's steady. It's heading forward. It's an unwavering belief in the value or the importance of something. Then you hold this thing. This is my conviction. This is true. Our God is the Almighty God. And it's not shaken by anything else. And to help you better understand what conviction is like, I want to explain a few things. Firstly, conviction goes beyond knowledge. Think about that. Because we, we got to grasp this because sometimes we mistake knowledge for conviction. Have we ever done that? You mistake conviction for uh, uh, knowledge for conviction. You see, just because you understand, because you know something, doesn't mean you will live it out. How many of you know, how many of you know we should exercise to be healthy? Yes. How many of us exercise? <laughs> how many of us know we should eat healthily? Yes. Well, we don't. I was enjoying my braised pork for breakfast. <laughs> How many of you, once you realize this, then you begin to realize that when we simply teach or preach the Word of God on Sunday or your weekend services, it doesn't mean that because the people heard and understood that they have gained conviction. They may have gained knowledge, but they not, may not have gained conviction. That's so important for us to understand. In fact, the Bible gave us the example of the Pharisees. Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 23, verse 23, uh, verse 3 especially, it says, For they do not practice what they preach. So they know, they have tons of knowledge, but they do not live it out. And even when conviction is lacking, do you realize that we may lack conviction, but we can still pass on knowledge? This happens all the time. We may pass on the knowledge of the next generation, the next generation didn't catch much of the conviction, but they continue to pass on the knowledge. It goes to the next generation. They had hardly any conviction left because they don't really understand what's all, but they still pass on the knowledge. What happens is this knowledge has now become fossilized. You know a fossil, a fossil is an old bone that archaeologists love to find. They get all excited about some old, old, decayed bone. And we're wondering, isn't that what you feed your dog and let it gnaw at it? So, it's fossil. And so sometimes the knowledge has become a fossil. Sometimes in the church, when it, we first started doing something, it was alive. But it passed on, it lacked conviction, there was even less conviction. And finally we have some old church traditions. It's fossilized. We have form, but there is no life. There is no conviction. People are involved in the form of it. And if we're not careful, we can, we can just carry on forms like this. We can have a global conference fossil if we're not careful. A hundred years from now, people say, yes, we religiously, this is what made our movement great. We always had global conference. And every so often, we must come to Taipei. You know? And because this is where we had a revival a hundred years ago. We never had revival since, but we always must come back to Taipei. You know, that, that, is, that is what we have to be so careful about. The big mistake is when a leader thinks I've imparted knowledge, but failed to impart conviction. When we look at someone and we say they have knowledge, but we fail to dig deeper and find out if they have conviction. How many say amen to that? Amen. amen. Conviction also goes beyond competence. You know, sometimes we can uh, mistake a person's competence, their skill, their expertise for the fact that they have conviction. You know, years ago, I was in a dinner and I sat down beside a doctor. He was a medical doctor. And I saw him eating pills. I said, oh, why, why do you eat those pills? Oh, because I have to compensate for the fact I never eat vegetables. I was like, you, you, you are a doctor? Yeah, I'm a medical doctor. And you don't practice what you know you should do. So, you know, you can have the skills, you can own all these things. One of the things is we've got to be careful. Ability doesn't mean it's the same thing as having the will. Just because they're competent, they may do a great job 
it doesn't mean they may have the right convictions. 